Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, you are seeking me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. That's pretty devastating. You are seeking me not because you saw signs, that is, you didn't see through the signs to what they were signs of, but you just ate your fill and thought, Jesus is very useful. This is dangerous and so relevant. They hadn't changed. They had all the same appetites they had when they came to Jesus. But now they can see a better way to get them satisfied. So he has become wonderfully useful. You can do songs to that. You can build your life around that. It's called the prosperity gospel. And the essence of the prosperity gospel of every shade is that it leaves people unchanged in their old appetites and then provides Jesus to meet them. Which is what the gospel of John is all about. Not doing. God help us. Are you are your existing appetites just the same as they always were before you came to Jesus and he's just useful now? Better business, better marriage, better kids, better, better everything I wanted before. Well, then you don't know him. He didn't come to serve your unregenerate appetites. He came to give you new appetites. That's the meaning of being born again. The meaning. That's what this whole book is about. We must be born again. And so many leave people untransformed in what they crave and then add the power of Jesus to get it. That's not the gospel. It's a kind of acclamation that Jesus walks away from. I mean, picture it. They were thrilled with him. They would have said they loved him. They would have done almost anything for him at that moment. Come on. We're impressed. You got power. You're the prophet. You're the king. We've been waiting for you for, for centuries, and you've just displayed godlike power, and we're ready to make you king so that we can get in line and go to Rome and end this tyranny. And he leaves them. <laughs> 